we are here to have uh, a brief what we call the press uh, statement on uh, a suspected uh, ADF cell that uh, has been burst in Italia district. And this is the uh, press statement on busting of a suspected ADF cell in Butalija district. The territorial police in Ibuke, the South region, that's Butalija, together with the crime intelligence team from CIA headquarters, Kampala, while jointly operating on intelligence, carried out an intelligence ready operation in Butalija district. Uh, in a village called Nabala village, Wiria Parish, Nawanjofu Sabu County, Butalija district. Where we rescued a number of children, women, and uh, arrested some men allegedly and suspected to belong to the ADF. It is suspected that this cell has been an indoctrination center and where uh, those children of female gender who are female juveniles are sexually abused uh, with the intent in the courts to manufacture children. And later these children are indoctrinated into uh, these suspected rebel activities. This intelligence led operation was a result of the information that was got earlier on from the earlier on arrested suspects who allegedly attacked various police stations around the country. And it is upon that intelligence uh, information that uh, the crime intelligence unit of the Uganda Police Force together with the territorial police carried out this operation in Butaleja. It is also through this uh, operation that their key leader who has been allegedly leading this uh, suspected uh, ADF cell, one Masul Musinguzi, was arrested. And he's among uh, the male suspects who were arrested, who total up to five in number, plus one uh, woman, of which ground to brings to the arrested suspects in this intelligence operation to six. That's five men and one woman. Uh, below are the categories of uh, children that were arrested. We have three weeks to ten years, and these are ten uh, in number. And uh, we have uh, those ones that tally from the age of uh, the ages of uh, uh, eleven to sixteen. We have those ones starting from the eleven to sixteen ages. Female juvenile, we have nil, but we have two female male juveniles. We also have those ones who are turning from the age of 17 uh, to 30. Among them, uh, female, we have nil, but we male, we have nil, and female, we have nine. Beg your pardon. 17 to 30, 
we have nine female and then uh, from 31 to 80 years we have two female the total number of female are 17 and those ones of the male gender are 44 ground total brings us to a number of 61 uh, who uh, managed to lead us to this kind of operation where these people are allegedly said to have been operating small, small businesses in the community like hawking, plastics and uh, other household materials in the communities. They are also said to have been uh, conducting their prayers under serious shigad and wouldn't like other people who are not familiar with them to access their places. They also allegedly operated some shops where they could sell items only to themselves. And when residents around could turn up, they could send them off, which actually would have been an indicator to the community to understand that these people are people who had a different way of living in the society and it have reported. We also, uh, through our criminal investigations, uh, we realized that uh, these uh, people uh, could train their children from the tender age and when they could reach the age of 10 years and above, could transfer them from that place to unknown places. People around could not uh, see these other children who have grown up in that area. A stay in this place probably was to radicalize them into uh, unacceptable acts. And uh, the rescued children are going to be. Uh, given support. We all hope to give them uh, support of settling them because uh, from uh, yesterday to today they have been at the police getting support from here but we hope to give them further uh, support in terms of welfare. Uh, those ones who have been uh, rescued among uh, uh, the, the women will also be given support like of resettling them the only worrying thing is that uh, according to the area on uh, preliminary prim inquiries is that uh, most of these children seem not to have or to know where they come from and this brings us to the point which i earlier on talked about that possibly this has been a place where uh, they have been sexually abusing these uh, women and when they give birth, they nurture them up and then after transfer them to other places. But uh, we are going and we are working around the clock to ascertain where exactly they could be coming from. Although, preliminarily, we don't have uh, a record of where they come from. They are not uh, properly citing where they, they, they hail from we come up with the identifying and ascertaining where they can they are coming from such that they have a proper resettlement uh, with their, their their parents the five suspected men arrested together with one woman are going to be charged with the uh, terrorism and the aggravated uh, trafficking in the persons.